10 Amazing Accidental Inventions We Can't Afford to Live Without Today Science has made a lot of progress in the last two centuries. Many inventions took decades to develop, while others just happened by accident and they changed the way we live. Just like Bob Ross says, we don't make mistakes, just happy little accidents. Can you guess which inventions were discovered by accident that we can't imagine living without today? In this video, we will talk about these interesting inventions. Don't forget to let us know which one of these surprised you the most. So, let's get started. Number 1. The Slurpee When you think of summer, you think of ice cream and Slurpees. In the year 1950, Omer Nedlik found that his soda fountain stopped working. He didn't know what to do with the leftover sodas, so he decided to freeze them in order to keep them cool. When he served the frozen soda to his customers, he was surprised to learn they loved it, and it became an instant staple in the summers. Then, he created a Slurpee machine with the name Icy. Today, you can find Slurpees in various flavors consumed all over the world. Don't forget to hit us with a like if you're a Slurpee fan like us. Number 2. Vulcanized Rubber What would the world look like without vulcanized rubber? We use it in many ways in our day-to-day -day lives, such as tires, boots, life jackets, etc. During the year 1839, a man named Charles Goodyear invented vulcanized rubber. People called him bizarre because he sold all of his things in order to conduct experiments on rubber. The rubber from plants has flaws as it melts and becomes sticky in hot temperatures and gets hard in the cold temperatures. Goodyear tried to experiment with different materials, but nothing was really working. One day, when he was experimenting with rubber with sulfur, he accidentally got them near his stove and he saw them transform. He realized that adding rubber and sulfur to the heat created a durable rubber that is moldable, long-lasting, and can be used for various purposes. His story inspires us to persist until we achieve results. Number 3. The Ice Cream Cone Crispy ice cream cones are everyone's favorite. Just like saying, the necessity is the mother of all inventions, there is a fascinating story behind the creation of ice cream cones. In 1904, at the St. Louis World Fair, a man named Ernest Homwe was selling waffles next to an ice cream vendor. Due to excessive demand, ice cream vendors ran out of cups to serve ice cream. Seeing this, the generous Ernest decided to lend his waffles by shaping them into cones for the ice cream. And people love the taste of crispy waffles and soft cold ice cream put together. Since then, he founded the Missouri Cone Company in 1910. Number 4. The Pacemaker With the invention of the pacemaker, many lives have been saved so far. But this noble invention happened by sheer accident. It all started when American engineer Wilson Grapebatch was finding ways to record heartbeats. He built an instrument to observe the heart sounds, but he accidentally placed a transistor that was many times more powerful than what he would generally use in his instruments. He found that this device produced a sound that was similar to a heartbeat. He planned to use this device to implant in the patient's body, which can be used to create shocks and help their heart muscles to pump blood close to a healthy heart's rhythm. His discovery has paved the way for the advancement of medical history. We must admit, however, that this is one of those accidents that saved many lives. Number 5. X-rays X-rays revolutionized the medical field. In the year 1895, a German professor called Wilhelm Conrad Rotgen was working with cathode ray tubes in his laboratory. During his experiments, he found that his tube was emitting a green fluorescent light. He covered this tube with black paper and the screen started to glow. He found that these were unknown rays and named them X-rays. He also found that these rays could pass through different objects and cast their shadow, even passing through human tissues, and could emit the shadow of bones and other solid objects. Rockin won the Nobel Prize in 1901 for his discovery of X-rays. Today, we use this technology widely in the medical field and security scanning at airports. When you get an X-ray, don't forget to thank Rockin for his contribution. Number 6. Chips Whether it's watching TV or chatting with your friends, chips are always a part of your leisure activity. Ever wondered how your favorite chips came into existence? In 1853, at Moon Lake Lodge Resort, a chef named George Crumb received complaints from a customer saying that his french fries weren't crispy enough. He tried making a thinner batch of french fries, but the complaints didn't stop. Finally, George Crumb decided to slice the potatoes very thinly and also fry them. Surprisingly, his customer liked it. This led to the invention of potato chips. 
potato chips quickly gained popularity and became a sensation from all over the world. Due to its versatility, today you can find potato chips in various flavors in almost every country. So, what's your favorite chip flavor? Don't forget to let us know in the comments below. Number 7. Matchsticks Matchsticks are one of the most important inventions of the 1800s. Until this period, people tried starting fires using various methods, but they were time-consuming and difficult. In 1826, a British pharmacist called John Walker discovered matchsticks unexpectedly. Walker often used wooden sticks in his laboratory to mix the different chemical solutions. One day, he found that a dry lump was stuck to the stick and he tried to scrape it off, causing it to burn. He was overjoyed to see it and started to develop matchsticks using the name Friction Lights. Walker decided not to patent this invention in order to benefit others. Since then, matches have evolved in many ways. We can't help but appreciate John Walker for his invention and his kindness. Number 8. Antidepressants It's sad to realize that many people are depressed for various reasons. Today, most of them are prescribed antidepressants. The very first antidepressant was developed in 1957. Ipronizid was originally developed as a medicine to treat patients with tuberculosis. While doctors found out that the patients didn't get better with tuberculosis, they did find that they were in a much better mood and were very relaxed. This phenomenon puzzled the chemists, and they studied the effects of this drug on patients with depression. This led to the creation of antidepressants. Number 9. Post-it Notes The story behind the post-it notes invention is rather unusual. A man named Arthur Fry in the year 1977 was working on making a strong adhesive, but he instead developed an adhesive that was different from what he expected. This adhesive turned out to be low in tack. It could only hold a piece of paper, but it could be used multiple times to stick the paper at various locations without even leaving a residue. In 1974, his co-worker used the paper as a bookmark in order to stick his hymnal. Thus, they found the potential in this invention, and that led to the rise of post-it notes. Today, post-it notes are used for various purposes, from writing grocery lists, writing motivational quotes at your desk, color coding cables, children's projects, and so on. From children to adults, people of all age groups love to use post-it notes. Once you start using them, it's hard to stop. Don't tell us that we didn't warn you. Number 10. Chocolate Chip Cookies Who doesn't love lovely chocolate chip cookies? But how did they originate? This also happened by accident in a humble farmhouse kitchen in Lowell. Ruth Graves Wakefield and Sue Brides were chefs at the Toll House Inn. They tried to experiment by adding leftover chocolate chips to cookie dough, expecting them to be melted together with the dough while baking. But they found that the chocolate chips didn't melt, and when they tasted it, they liked the combination of soft cookie with the slightly crunchy chocolate chips. As expected, this recipe turned into a massive success, and they started to sell the cookies with the name Toll House Crunch Cookies. Now these are sold all over the world. Who says we need a grand kitchen in order to create great food? We hope you enjoyed our video. Don't forget to like it and please subscribe for more exciting content. Thanks for watching and see you next time.